What's going down, family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey, I want to welcome you to the page. Definitely appreciate you for dropping in. Hey, today I want to ask you a question on this wonderful, wonderful Monday, Monday. Are you looking for a job or maybe you're looking to get a new job? Uh, well, today for Money Monday, what I wanted to do is kind of... Um, center that around that question so what i did is i actually found an article talking about a um great places to work um the best small and medium workplaces for 2021 so i wanted to jump on here real quick and let you guys take a look at this um every monday monday every money monday don't laugh at me it's been a while since i've been on here but every Money Monday, what I do is jump on. I read an article related to money. And today, this article kind of caught my attention. So we're going to read this together. Obviously, I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I do want to give you all the general idea of what's, what's going down. This article was written today, with well, this morning. And it was written by a great place to work. So let's actually take a look at this here. Um so great place to work. The global authority on workplace culture has determined the fortune best small and medium workplaces for 2021 based on confidential employee opinions representing over 280,000 employees at companies in more than 18 industries across the United States. Two tech based personal finance companies came out on top this year with you need a budget. Um, holding on to his first place ranking on the small list for the second year in a row and nerd wallet claiming top spot on the medium list jumping from 17 last year um it was a strong year for new entries with 85 companies joining the list for the first time and several of those breaking into the top 10 on the small list newcomers info trust a digital analytic analytics consultant and Mediavine, a digital ad agency, claimed the fourth and fifth spots, respectively. And on the medium list, home ownership platform Better.com came in strong at number two, while tech training and consulting firm Bitwise Industries debuted at number nine. These companies may be small in size, but their impact and commitment to improving employee experience stacks up against some of the world's largest corporations. Their ability to scale business while maintaining a high level employee care is nothing short of amazing. Um, in the survey that determined the rankings, employees were asked to rate how much they agree with statements that measure company culture dimensions, including equity, collaboration, camaraderie, fairness, pride, innovation and leadership effectiveness. After a year of upheaval and uncertainty due to COVID-19 pandemic, it's no surprise that companies that demonstrate strong leadership and a commitment to employee experience are among the top ranking workplaces in the U.S. On average, 87 percent of employees at the best small and medium workplaces said they have a great deal of confidence in leadership and 66 percent said they have a lot of meaningful innovation opportunities to develop new and better ways of doing things. This is a stark contrast to data collected by a great place to work for the average U.S. workplace. At other organizations, just 18.1% say they have a lot of meaningful innovation opportunities, while 14.1% say they have none. Such factors are particularly important for businesses looking to recruit and retain talent right now as the U.S. undergoes what some economists are calling the Great Resignation. Frustrated, burnt out workers are reassessing their uh, priorities in a post pandemic world, whether that's the flexibility to continue working from home, a farewell to the standard nine to five or pursuing a new career path altogether. Companies that supported employees, mental health and wellness during the pandemic are well poised to survive and even thrive during the current hiring crunch. Some notable Initiatives include Better.com's free virtual therapy and professional development programs and Nerd Wallets Do Not Disturb Wednesdays in which employees can use their time however they like, whether that's taking a walk, focusing on a personal project or playing with their children. And Bitwise made the dramatic move of putting every employee 
at 60% time while still paying their their regular full-time pay. So that could um, that staff could prioritize their mental health and take time for themselves and their families. Um, so now here's the full um, there's a full list um, here at this link, but uh, we're just kind of going to go at the top five here. Who are the best small and medium companies to work for in 2021? Um, small category. You need a budget, also known as YNAB. The EDUS Group, EAG Services Incorporated, InfoTrust, and MediaVine. Um, in the medium category, we got NerdWallet, Better.com, Asana, PeopleTech, PeopleTech Incorporated, and Expel. Um, so now, about the best in small, medium workplaces. A little bit about that. Um, to determine the 2021 best small and medium workplaces list, great place to work analyze confidential survey feedback representing more than 280,000 employees working in the small size, which is 10 to 99 employees, and medium size, 100 to 999 employees, businesses in the United States. Employees responded to over 60 survey questions via Great Place to Work's proprietary trust index survey, describing the extent to which their organization creates a great place to work for all. 85% of the evaluation is based on what employees say about their experience of trust and reaching their full human potential as part of their organization, no matter who they are or what they are. Great place to work analyze these experiences relative to each organization's size, workforce makeup, and what's typically what's typical relative to their peers in the industry. The remaining 15% of the rank is based on an assessment of all employees' daily experience of innovation, the company's values, and the effectiveness of their leaders. Okay, um, now this is just talking a little bit about the company. Um, so all in all, uh, what what we want to what I wanted to look at here is just, you know, what are some good companies to possibly work for? Now, some cool things that I did see was these companies um, uh, actually giving you a, a data, you know, do what you do what you want to do, which is pretty interesting. And then there was another company talking about basically you work 60 percent of the time, but they'll still pay you full, full time. That that is that's that's crazy. That is crazy. Um. I actually thought that was pretty cool, but um, I, I'm wondering how that's going to work out because, you know, hey, if you, you know, you only you get full pay, but 60 percent of the work, mm, I, I kind of got mixed thoughts about that. But, hey, it's all good. Whatever, the, you know, people got to do to get us back into the workforce, you know, hey, we got to do what we got to do. Comment below what you think about that. Um, these companies, if you've heard of them, um, I have heard of. Um, YNAB or you need a budget that's actually a pretty good um, um, software there as far as budgeting goes so you definitely want to check them out I don't sponsor them so I don't get paid for this I don't uh, it's just you know my personal opinion I do know people have used the software and they like it pretty well also nerd wallet is another place that I look for a lot of information again I'm not sponsored by them so it's just me kind of putting y'all you know in front of some free game um, but Without any further ado, hey, that has been Money Mondays with Money Mike. I hope you guys, you know, enjoy this. If you do, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, comment below again any opinions or thoughts about these companies or, you know, where you work. Maybe, you know, you want to talk about where you work or where you considering working. And as always, you know, hit that share button. And um thank you so much for tuning in. This has been my time here. Hope y'all have a great day. And as always, I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time. So he's always smiling. So why aren't we? Hey, you guys have a fantastic rest of y'all day. Catch y'all on the next one. Take care of yourselves. God bless you all. Come on. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute. Damn.